Hello everyone, this is Dr. Pickett and I'm back with another uh, virus and update uh, during the COVID-19 crisis with the novel coronavirus. Today's date is April 9th, 2020. And as you can see, we're still on lockdown in the state of New York. There's still no uh, martial law, but um, we're all being careful, practicing social distancing and uh, trying to make sure that um, we want to win this battle for this virus. So I'm coming at you today because... Um, I've got a ring and an alarm bell of warning that I don't think has been properly rung for many people or many people don't really get it or understand the need for that. And, and I'm trying to bring an alarm bell for a warning for black Americans, um, African Americans and COVID-19 and high blood pressure. And even if you're not an African American, but you do have high blood pressure or someone with high blood pressure, listen to this message. I, I think you're going to see the importance of this. As I said, today is, um, April 9th, 2020. And presently there is 1.6 million people in the world who are infected with coronavirus and 95,731 people are dead. In the United States, there is about 468,000 confirmed cases and 16,667 people are dead from this virus. Um, now, in the past, many people have asked me, um, Dr. Pickett, why do you uh, make such detailed information um, in these videos. Um, we want to see something that's, that's entertaining and lighthearted. And, and I want to remind you that this is no time for entertainment. Um, you need to be informed and educated, not ignorant and aloof to what's going on. Um, and so I'm, I'm trying to use these videos to call people in the body of Christ and, and people in the world to, to take a look at things again and analyze stuff that spread rumors of things that they get on quick social media tweets and, 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 uh, texts and, and, and Facebook posts, but they look into the, um, area and study stuff. And I want to remind those, um, who are pastors that we are called to, uh, transmit truthful information to members. If you're going to retweet or send anything, check it out. I want to remind you a few scriptures here. Job 36, 12 states, but if they refuse to listen to him, they will cross over the river of death, dying from a lack of understanding. So here's a, a couple of Bible verses. I want you to really understand the need for us to go deep, the need for us to study and know these kind of things. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 23 states, they die because they have no self-control. We see people who are ripping and running and, and even though there's a virus, they want to go to the store every day and hang out with their friends every day. You need to exercise some self-control. Yes, you're bored at home. Yes, you're tired of watching TV. You may even be tired of hours and hours of reading your Bible, uh, uh, but don't let your boredom make you lose your discipline. Again, Proverbs 5, 23 states, they die because of a, they have no self-control. Their stupidity will send them to their graves. And then Proverbs 10, verse 21 says, a good person's words will benefit many people, but you can kill yourself with stupidity. So this video, again, I was mentioning is about the recent headlines we've been seeing over the past few days, uh, talking about the high number of black people, African Americans that have been dying for COVID-19. Uh, for example, uh, recently they, they, um, released information that in Illinois, um, 42% of the people who die of COVID-19 in that state are black, yet Black people only represent 15% of that population. Um, it's similar in Michigan, where 41% of the people who are dying of the COVID-19 disease um, are, are African American, yet they only represent 14% of the people. And the most shocking is Louisiana, because in Louisiana, 70% of the people who have died from the COVID-19 virus are African Americans, yet they only represent 33% of the people. And, and so we got to ask ourselves, um, what's going on with the African American community? Um, what's, why is this happening? Um, um, what's really the issues that are in, in, in involved here? And I've, I've heard some celebrities come on and some, um, people who are very well-meaning and they talk about how, um, African Americans suffer from uh, poor health care, and they suffer from um, lots of rumors that, that that we go about. Um, but I want to say that the one thing that we have not really talked about is uh, hypertension in the black community. And um, I know that when they were first mentioning the pre-existing health conditions, there was a lot of emphasis made on heart disease. 
you know, diabetes and, and other things like that. But yet what strikes me as odd is that um, not much mention was made of hypertension, a little bit here, a little bit there, but not very much. And then I realized that a lot of times the media will reflect um, the people who are broadcasting it, what their interests are, is what they'll call the alarms on. And I did some research with the CDC on their website, and I discovered that um, more um, European Americans suffer from heart disease, and yet more African Americans suffer from hypertension. And that may be why heart disease gets a little more focus in what's going on with the coronavirus. But recent studies that have come back from China and Italy show that the number one um underlining health factor that the people in China were dying from and Italy were dying from and even Spain is also releasing this information is a high rate of hypertension. Um, China said that 76% of the people that died had hypertension and Italy said something like close to 90% of the people that died from the coronavirus COVID-19 had hypertension as well. And so um, I began doing some research again and looking into this to find out what is it about hypertension that's making people so susceptible to dying from the coronavirus. And uh, in my research, I, I discovered a few startling things. And, and first of all, there's 108 million American adults who have high blood pressure, hypertension, 108 million adults. That's 45% of the adult population for all races, not just black people. Um, but what I discovered was I was watching a, a video by this doctor. It was very fascinating. He went into how the lungs work and how the coronavirus um, infects the body and the different reactions the body has to it. But he mentioned something that I wasn't familiar with. He mentioned um, the word ACE2. And I didn't know what he was talking about, ACE2 receptors. And I did some research and I was startled in what I discovered in that. And I want to share that with you. And this can be all verified by going to um, really good websites like WebMD, um, the CDC, um, various health um, and scientific journals. This is out there in the information. It's, it's there for you if you want to verify what I'm saying. And I discovered the link between... Um, hypertension and the high rates of death for COVID-19 is actually linked to the medication that doctors are giving um, for high blood pressure. Now, I, I suffer from high blood pressure. My father had it. I had it. My mother had it. My sisters had it. Um, I don't know if it's a, it's a, it's a strictly uh, inherited family thing or just wasn't really eating properly when I was young. I'm probably a combination of both. Um, but I know that the doctor put me um, personally on what's called lisinopril. And I'm going to get to that in one second. Um, but the medication that um, is being prescribed in America mainly for high blood pressure um, are called ACE inhibitors. And some of you may have heard this this term before, and you, you might have heard it on the media or in your doctor's office and things like that, um, this ACE inhibitor, uh, and then also a thing called the ARB. Now, now the ACE is, is an acronym for the ACE inhibitor. It stands for angiotensin converting enzyme, and it's a really big 99 cent word that doesn't really mean much until you really understand like how this whole process works. Um, now, these ACE inhibitors and the, R and the ARB uh, medicines, um, these are all medicines for high blood pressure, um, they work to widen your blood vessels, and, and that's what relieves the pressure of the blood flowing through your body and therefore lowers your blood pressure down. So I went through a list of uh, some ACE inhibitors, and I may do a follow-up with some um, ARBs um, so you can look into it yourself to see if, if your uh, blood pressure medicine is on it. And um, I spoke to my sister today, and she's on an a ARB. I can't remember the name of it, but it begins with a D, and she's on it. But I want to give you some of the ACE inhibitors, and, and pay close attention because maybe you or your loved one are taking this medicine, and I'm going to explain some things to you that's very important. Um... It could be quinapril, uh, perindopril, ramapril, captopril, ben benzapril, uh, trandol trandolapril, sorry, tongue-tied, uh, fascinopril, lysinopril, which I take, me, uh, moexapril, and enalapril. Um, and you see the thing with these ACE inhibitors, and thank you for my butchering of these, of these uh, medications, but please work with me on that. Um, but the thing with these ACE inhibitors are they, they, they do save your life from heart attacks and strokes and, and they're very good at relieving the blood pressure in the body. But they, they do have a side effect that, um, 
you know, um, people are really noticing um, in these COVID-19 patients that is causing them to die. And that is these ACE, ACE inhibitors end up raising the level of enzymes in your body called ACE2, ACE2 in your body. Now, surprisingly, these ACE2 uh, enzymes, um, they, they, they're on your cells, they're in your body. But what's crazy is and I, and I spoke about um, the, the cure for the coronavirus, which is our, our human body. We, we have a, a wonderful defense mechanism that God give, gave us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, but I want to also get into the fact that um, these ACE, in, 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 ACE, ACE2 um, enzymes in your body actually allow the virus, the, the coronavirus, to just enter your cell without any resistance. And, and usually by the time that people who have been taking high blood pressure medicine realize they have um, the, the coronavirus and the, the developing COVID-19 disease, it, it's usually too far gone, too ingrained, already in them, establishing a beachhead, and they will be more likely to die from this disease. So I want to give you a wake-up call. If you are on high blood pressure medicine, please do not play around because your body is more susceptible to die if you get the coronavirus infection. And people are beginning to realize that it is the common link with the African-American community that um, a high percentage of us are, are on um these these um, ACE inhibitor medicines for our blood pressure, and, and therefore we are, are susceptible to dying from the coronavirus. So that leaves us in, in a quandary. I mean, do you want to avoid taking your um, blood pressure medicine to make sure your body has a better chance of fighting off coronavirus? Well, you don't want to do that because that leaves you at a higher risk of blood pressure and stroke. So the better course of, of option is to take your medicine and stay home. Yes, stay home. It's a novel idea. It's a win-win scenario. You don't go outside to risk yourself getting the coronavirus and you take your pressure medicine at home to make sure you're okay. And you, you get to live and get the best of both worlds. There's nothing out there that you need so bad that it's worth risking your life. There's no one out there. You need to go through public transportation or going through a whole bunch of crowds to go to visit your friends and all kind of stuff. Uh, um, there's nothing that's worth your life. You know, um, Jesus says, what should a man give in exchange for his soul? And, and so um, I, I want you to understand that I don't want you to take any chances um, with this coronavirus because let's say you don't take your medicine and your blood pressure spikes, you end up having a stroke or heart attack. Where are they going to take you? To the same ER where people have coronavirus where, and then they're going to, you know, take you through the ER and keep you there. And chances are now you're going to get coronavirus and so you stayed home and played it safe. So... What can be done um, with this uh, blood pressure problem? Um, I, I don't think people should stay on these um, pressure pills for life unless they have severe uh, blood pressure issues. So I'm going to give you some tips, and I know you've heard a lot of these before, but some people need to hear them for lowering your blood pressure. Um, the number one of my item is salt and salty snacks like potato chips, Doritos, and, and all these other things, putting salt, extra salt in your food, that has got to stop. If you can eliminate salt from your diet entirely, try to do it. Um, also, deli meats. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, we're home and we can't go to here or there and, and do what we want like we used to. And so we may keep some deli meats in the house and eat a, a deli sandwich every day. But if you don't know, deli meats are packed with sodium and cold cuts. They're all packed with sodium. Um, you may try to buy some frozen pizza. Oh uh, yeah, I said it. Frozen pizza has a lot of sodium in it. Um, pickles. We, we love pickles on top of our burgers and relish on top of our hot dogs. Um, pickles also have a lot of sodium um beware of canned soups and i was um I i've always known that soups are, are very salty add a lot of water to it but even if you you take the entire canned soup especially the condensed soups uh, those are not really made to be eaten all in one sitting although many people do and we'll just add the can of water to the can of soup but that still has two thousand milligrams of sodium just in that one big bowl of soup that you want to eat 
Um, also, um, beware of canned tomato products that have added salt to them. And then I'm going to go back to another one. Be careful of the high fructose corn syrup and the sugar because these things pack on the pounds and they add obesity. And when you're overweight, it makes your blood um, have a harder time pumping through your body and it's got to work and also builds high blood pressure. Um, so I'm asking you to please um, share this video with other people. Um, uh, because um, this information is there in the scientific and the medical community. Um, the mainstream media is not really um, speaking on this very much, but it, it's it's needed. And if this video can save lives and help somebody, then I I, I, I know that um, this is not in vain. I just want people to be educated and equipped and to know the real from the fake. And, and again, when this disease started... They said it was just something that the elderly and the those who had weakened immune systems were susceptible for dying on, but everybody else was going to shake it off. In fact, our president said that, you know, it was no big deal in the very beginning. I'm glad he's beginning to change his tone, especially because he's the leader of the country. Um, but I want people to be proactive. We need to be proactive as an American nation and practice the social distancing, uh, practice the um, lower risks of what we can do. And if you have hypertension, know that if you get this, by the time you get it, it's deeply ingrained because the same medication you're taking has opened a door for the virus to get in and, and nest into your body before your immune system can even respond. Your, your, your medicine has a byproduct that says, coronavirus, welcome home. Again, I do these videos for you so that you can remember my one theme in every video. And that is, if you take care of your body, it will take care of you. God bless you. I'm Dr. Pickett. Have a great day. Be safe. God bless you.